Well, parents showed up at the Hilton School Board meeting demanding more accountability following the guilty verdict in the Kirk Ashton case. The former principal of Northwood Elementary was convicted of 46 counts of sexual abuse yesterday. Christian Garzone attended the meeting and joins us in the studio with more on what parents had to say tonight and the response from school leaders. Christian. Well, Teresa, parents were not there to hear about various academic updates. They only wanted answers from the board on who knew what and when about Kirk Ashton and how this went on for 17 years with no one coming forward. Those we spoke with are demanding an outside investigation and for the superintendent to resign. What was done to these to these children is disgusting. The elephant in the room at the Hilton School Board meeting Tuesday was the guilty verdict of former Northwood Elementary School Principal Kirk Ashton. The superintendent only read a prepared statement saying in sum, they're grateful for the verdict and humbled by the courage of the students who came forward. They told the parents they will be enforcing a culture of reporting going forward to ensure the safety of students. That reporting, says Danielle Lyman Torres with the Bavona Child Advocacy Center, is the law. When it comes to professionals um, who are mandated reporters, they receive specific training and understand their obligation to mandate and to report abuse of any kind. Bavona has been working with the victims since the Ashton case broke last year. Parents in the auditorium told News 8 there is a complete lack of transparency from the board on all this and more needs to be said. Rick Naraki has children in the district. He says the superintendent and most of the board need to resign immediately. We wanted answers tonight. We wanted to know who was behind this, who knew what. As soon as the Ashton case came to light last year, Kelly Wright decided to homeschool her children. She spoke Tuesday saying she is done with the silence from the board. I feel like every email that's been sent out is just your generic cookie cutter email that we're supposed to just be okay with. Wright wants an investigation from an outside agency now to determine who else was responsible for 17 years of abuse at the hands of Ashton. There were a lot of people that knew and it was an extremely toxic environment. As reported, Ashton's former vice principal, who is now assistant principal at the Village Elementary School in Hilton, has been placed on administrative leave. Teresa, right back to you. Okay, Christian, thank you. Ashton is scheduled to be sentenced next month. We have complete coverage of this trial on rochesterfirst.com.